We are here with Graham McTavish. Now, I am a big fan of yours and have been for many, many years. Loved you on Preacher oh, as well. Oh, thank you, darling. You are so good at playing oh. someone so menacing, and you are such a kind man. How do you get in the mindset for these characters? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, in the in the case of Preacher, uh, I was a huge fan of those comics. Huge, huge fan. And so when I had the opportunity to, I didn't care what I did in Preacher, but when they asked me to be the saint, I mean, he was my favorite character. And so I had a, a bit like Outlander. I mean, Outlander, I wasn't familiar with the source material before I did it, but I obviously read it. Uh, but I was very conscious of the responsibility towards the fans, uh, both for Preacher, for Outlander, when I did The Hobbit, all of those things that I remember walking on set in Preacher with the coat and all the rest of it, and just thinking, don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel with the finale, being a big fan yourself? Because Preacher, I know, kind of changed a lot from moved, the, yeah, from the yeah, source Yeah, material. they did. They moved stuff around. I, I, you know, at, at the end of the day, you have to acknowledge that this is a different medium and you have to tell stories in a different way. I mean, speaking personally, I was very glad that they followed the Saint story very closely. Yeah. And so the finale of preacher for the saint was very very in accord with with the book and i was delighted about that because it's so it's so dark i mean it's heavy i mean i remember when i read that in the book i was like oh yeah so but when i got to do it and i utter the line what if i choose hate it's a very powerful moment and uh Oh, I loved it. I loved doing it. Yeah. I've been very lucky, you know. I've, I've been lucky with those That's things. So now, talking about Outlander as well, mm. it's kind of changed a little bit from the source material. Obviously, not as much as Preacher, which no. was a full re-adaptation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but do you feel that there's going to be any kind of new elements added in this season that might surprise fans without giving too much away? Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be some elements that are going to surprise fans without giving too much away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's uh, one of the great things about this show is that... Um, um, they have a really broad canvas to work with and they have some really interesting characters and they have combinations of characters that I think will will surprise many yeah so. now there's also some rumors that you might be cast in the next season of Witcher as well can you comment at all on that well uh, we will see what happens but I have heard those rumors and um, I'm a big fan of that show so let's see yes. Well, I definitely hope that we get to see you. And I know that we're going to love seeing you as well in this show. So thank you so much for talking Thanks with us. Thanks very much. It was nice talking to you.